guys, Juan Jose Blanca Project. So for today, I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. I went to a Dollar Tree that I hardly ever go to and I found some good stuff and I'm really excited to show you guys. So I picked up these Polaroid labels and they came in three different designs. At least those are the only ones I saw in my store. The first one looks like this. This is the kind of design, this is the kind of label it is. and. Um, the label itself is pretty small, but it's a blank label and I figured these would be great for organizing or for really anything I thought these were really cool. I mean you can print on them definitely you can but you can also just write on them um, And there's 240 of them in here. I thought that was an awesome awesome deal I also picked up two of these labels and these are the star labels. I thought these were really cute again are blank they don't come with the design but I'm sure if you go on to their website which gives you the directions back here you can probably just print this really cool designs on them um, again they're blank and I just thought they would be a cool project for kids or for us and then the last one I picked up I picked up two of them as well and they are these labels right here I thought these were really cool for 240 and for just a dollar I think that's a pretty good deal um, Dollar Tree does have labels as well, but I think they only come with like eight or ten of them and they're a dollar. Granted, they are bigger. They do have a design on them, but I thought the, these were actually a pretty good deal as well. So I always like to pick up these Sure Fresh gallon size um, Ziploc bags. I think they're awesome. We use them all the time. So yeah, I picked up this really cool tape. I had not seen this design and I thought it was so cute. I just I just had to pick it up. I don't know if you guys know this, but I like evens. I don't really like odds. So sometimes when I buy things, I always buy them in evens because that's what I like. So I bought two of these Brillo sponges because as you guys know, I do replace my sponges every two weeks. So these definitely come in handy. Again, I got two of them, so a total of four. I got one of these furniture wipes and these is for, and these is. And this is for your wood, so I thought these were really cool to clean something like this or our bed. I picked up two of these um, Scrub Buddies Wet Seeper. Wow, Mexican side is coming out for sure. Wet Sweeper cloth refills. This is what they look like. They do fit the Sweeper Swiffer? Swiffer? Um, so I think that's an awesome deal and it's 22 a pack. They had other ones that I don't know the brand But there was only like 10 of them and I was like 20 for a dollar. Heck. Yes So I bought two of those and then I found these toothbrushes and I bought two packages of these I thought this was a really good deal. This is the Colgate toothbrushes. They come three to a pack Granted, they are the soft ones, but I think sometimes this is okay because my gums sometimes bleed because I scrub too hard. So I figured these would be good for us, so I bought two of them. Now, I'm also doing one last Easter basket, and I'm doing this for a little baby. He's only like seven months old so i couldn't do a lot of the things that i did for the older kids you guys saw it in my last video on friday i uploaded our easter baskets so i couldn't do those kind of things for him so i decided to kind of look at other things and see what else i can put in his basket so i bought him these two cute little books from dollar tree this is the sesame street one and this is a dino splash one and i thought these would be really cool for him and really cute and kind of you know entertaining for him and then I bought him these cute little sockies this is the camo and this one has little frogs on them I mean they're adorable guys they're adorable and I also bought him these pair of socks right here these have soccer balls and this one is like a it has like shoelaces on it I thought that was really cute and then I got this Lysol click gel automatic toilet bowl cleaner I really don't know why I bought this because I have my own system to clean our bathroom bowl but I was intrigued by it and um, I don't know her name, but she her channel is Fab TV. She posted a haul and talked about these and said that they were great for her toilet. And she loves seeing her water blue. And as soon as it started turning a light blue, she knew she had to change it. So she was like addicted to them. So I just wanted to give it a try because, you know, YouTube made me buy it. So I also picked up this Brillo Basics brush. This is what it looks like. I'm sure you guys can see it. So this is the one where you can dispense the soap in here and then it comes out as you're brushing I read online that you can use this for your shower so what you would put in here is a little bit of hand soap and then some vinegar and then between washes you would just like scrub or maybe as you're taking a shower kind of scrub or something like that so I thought this idea was really good in between in between cleanings like I said 
Okay, now the next thing I bought were these stickers. I bought two of these. I've never seen these stickers before. I think they're so cute. So they have all kinds of different dots. There's a total of 60 and they do pop up. I thought they were so cute. I've never seen these before. I'm not a big fan of pop-up stickers because for the most part, I use my stickers for my planner. Unless I'm doing some kind of card or wrapping a present. But I don't really like to use these too much, so I might give these away to a friend mail, but I just thought this was really cute. Alright, so now the last thing I have to show you guys, OMG, OMG guys, I'm so excited because I didn't even know these were out. Apparently, everybody on Instagram was posting pictures of them, but I hadn't seen them. I hadn't even, I hadn't even seen anybody post pictures. I thought I was like discovering this new product at Dollar Tree, but I was not. I was very, very wrong. And um, I didn't care because they were just awesome products. So these are the Jot brand seven count deco tapes. So there are the tapes, the little mini tapes, and there's a bunch of them. OMG. So let me show you guys the designs. I think I bought all of them that they had. Um, this is the first one. I bought two of these. This is so cute. And they are individual ones, so there's a total of seven tapes. And they really don't have a lot of product, but it's seven tapes, guys. Seven tapes. I really should have bought more than just... Wow, I bought five. I'm very surprised that I bought an even, an odd number. I don't think I knew that. So I bought two of that first one. Then I got this one, which is just lighter colors like pinks, blues, and yellows. So cute. And this one, this one I think is one of my favorites. I love this last one with the hearts and the blue and the coral. I love it. So cute. And then this is the last one I picked up. So these are more neon colors. You get your bright green, orange, and pink, and then designs in the middle. I thought these were awesome products. I definitely think that Dollar Tree is stepping up their games when it comes to stationery. Um, I think they're bringing out some awesome products. They just need to bring stamps in, like super cute stamps like Target One Spot. And you know what? I think this is an awesome time to be in love with the Target One Spot with Dollar Tree because I feel like they're competing with each other and they're just bringing out really cute stuff. Alright guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Let me know if you guys have used any of the products that I bought. Let me know if you guys are looking for those tapes or if you guys have found them and if you guys have found different patterns because those four are the only ones I saw. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is The Blanca Project and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!